Well, hello everyone. It is quarter to nine on Thursday. Everyone's gone to work. As she had an early, early this morning, she left at 6.15. It's bright and sunny. And that's all I'm going to say on the weather today. Except we're supposed to have cooler days for the holiday weekend. It's a holiday weekend here, if you guys didn't know. It is Labor Day weekend. But we're supposed to get rain Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But guess what? I'm not bothered because the temperatures are in the 70. Now that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to mention my hair. You all know I need it cut. End of. Too much in the editing of hair and weather. The power kept going on and off last night, but eventually did stay on, so that was good. The burgers were great. We enjoyed those thoroughly. Um, yeah, it was so typical though. We were just sitting there and then suddenly I went downstairs to start dinner and then everything went off. And then it was like everyone in the neighborhood kept putting up with stuff. Apparently a transformer got hit. But then on the news this morning, they said that Con Ed um, is a record high of usage. That's our electricity company. Ele yeah, electricity company. And um, there was an over usage of electricity, which caused some of the lines to burn out, overheat, etc. So that's what you get when you need the air conditioners going 24 seven. But anyway, guys, Neighbours have just come on, so I'm going to watch that, get to work, and I'll talk to you later. Hello, everybody. I just realized I haven't picked up the camera in a while. Have we, Roxy? It is one something. It is 1.40. We had some fajita veggies and chicken left from the other night, so I just had a fajita for lunch, and it was really good still. Enjoyed it, didn't I, Roxy? Roxy's sitting here with me. Roxy, say hello. I can't even see you. Well, I'm not even looking at the right thing. Ash and Peter are going over tonight because tonight, today's the last day of the band camp and they do a run through for friends and family and Peter always goes and gets pictures for the yearbook. So Ashley, if she can, she goes with him and because she was at work so early this morning, she said she wanted to go. But she wants me to go and I'm like, I told you the other day, I don't know, it all depends what I can stand. So I've just pretty much texted and told her I think I'm going to stay home. Just to be on the safe side, because like I said as well, it's a lot of standing around and trying to park there and everything, and there's not a lot of parking for the amount of parents. It's a 130, 140 piece band, so if you've got parents from every kid there, which you won't have, but there's a lot of cars anyway. So I think I'm gonna stay put. Then I just got a thing about blood pressure medicine that has been recalled. So I texted the article to Pete. I'm like, take a look at this because I don't know what your stuff is. Um, big recall saying that this medicine has terrible side effects, uh, even death. So I'm like, oh God, because I don't know the name of his stuff. Um, I know he has the, not the name brand of it upstairs. So I just want to make sure what he's taking isn't the same as one mentioned, this one mentioned. But yeah, anyway, I'm just watching 90 Day Fiancé. Does anybody watch this show? It's really good. Um, in between running in and out, doing the calls, of course. But uh, I'm taking half an hour to let my lunch digest. And then I'll get back to work. Guys, I've come up here now to try and get this room cool because it's reading 90 again. It's gone way up. I'm not going to go tonight. It's just there's no way. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a bit. Hi, Roxy Chick. Roxy's come to sit with me, as always. Okay guys, Pete left. You can hear the drummers drumming away. I hope it didn't start early because Pete's going to miss it. <laughs> Not even there yet. Might just be the drummers practicing now. Everyone, it is 8.35. Pete has gone out because he had to go get something from Staples, so he has decided he's picking up a pizza. Um, he just finished over at the band, came in to get a coupon, and then ran back out again because he wants to get some kind of toner. And I said, we've, they've told him today that he's only working half a day tomorrow. Um, I guess this company's closing early and giving them three and a half days, which is very nice. 
I said, well, why don't you just get it tomorrow rather than running all over the place? Because I need it now. That's <laughs> pretty much how he said it as well. Paige is coming over tomorrow to have a makeup trial done for her party in a couple of weeks. They want to come over now. We're like, we're just about to eat dinner. When he gets back with it, it's like it's too late. But um, Ash has gotten herself back into sketching. She's a really good little artist. And um, she's been over to Michael's twice because she needed to go back for something else. So she's been in and out a couple of times since she's got home from work, but she's off tomorrow as well, so that's good. Not that Pete's off, he's got half a day. So yeah, so that will be it. I'm just getting ready for Big Brother. Have you all heard what's going on in Big Brother? I didn't see it happen until I saw... Pete sent me a text today saying, look at yahoo.com. Um, JC's been up to no good at night. And... Uh, some of the fans, lots of the fans are trying to say CBS needs to do something about this and get JC out of the house because I guess while uh, oh what's his name I'm, I'm having a blank right now because I'm what was his name? I can't remember his name anyway he was in bed with one of the guys and while the guy was asleep he was kissing his armpits and stuff which is very bizarre and not something you need to do while somebody's asleep and uh, I think they need to make this kid aware of what's been happening to him that's not good and then I was watching Big Brother, English Big Brother and what is with Roxanne? I mean she did laugh and go ow I just got beaten up by Coronation Street so and so and then went into the diary room and, and she's uncomfortable and she can't believe he's in the house I don't know. I, I've been reading a lot of things about Roxanne online. I'm not really sure what I think of her. I don't know, guys. There's just a lot of weird stuff going on in Big Brother this year. In both, both uh, countries, England and America. But anyway, I am tired. So I'm going to love and leave you guys for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant brilliant Thursday whatever it is you did today I hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow good night guys